A vertical galvanometer, also called a galvanometer with an iron blade, is one of the types of early electrical measuring instruments. It was used in research and studies at the end of the 19th century. Such galvanometer consists of a stationary coil placed in the base and a moving pointer with a blade or a disc which balances the pointer when there is no current in the circuit. A current goes through the reel and renders a rotational moment on the needle. It tries to turn in a resultant magnetic field. Counteraction with the rotational moment in the real field creates balance. Zero value of the pointer is in the middle of the dial. This allows to do measurements of positive and negative nominals without switching the device over. The galvanometer was sensitive and had a light pointer. Thus a researcher would have to put the device under a cap when carrying out high precision measurements. Besides, the device was not linear as the counterforce of magnetic and electromagnetic fields changes according to a non-linear principle. The instrument had a big advantage over dynamic devices as it didn't have mobile conductors. As a result, a cycle of life of the device was big enough for the samples made in the beginning of the century to be still used for lab measurements in the 50s.